My name is Chip Flanagan. I am the executive chef of Ralph's on the Park. I remember it had to be 2000, maybe. Um, a dishwasher at Louis the Sixteenth uh, used to always do second lines. His name was Spanky, and uh, he used to tell us all the time. You know, you got to come. He'd bring his suits in to the restaurant. You know, these crazy all green suits with a yellow shirt or something. And uh, so he was big into that. So we'd go to the second lines to go see him, basically. And I don't know who it was, but somebody was serving Yakamane, and we had it, you know, in the styrofoam cup. And it's really salty, you know. Uh, the egg, the hard-boiled egg was, you know, overcooked. I guess... After I can do it, after I do it, I can have a philosophy about it. But really, you know, it's when I'm when Jordan and I were in this and thinking about it, and making it. I you don't really see the forest for the trees. You don't know that you're participating in the the growth of a cultural, a, a strange new cultural dish. You know, we don't think about it like that. Really, what we have to do, um, you know, we look for inspiration. And the bottom line is I wouldn't be working if it weren't true. We, gotta, we have to sell these dishes, you know. People have to buy them. Otherwise, i got to find a new line of work. So I think that's almost the first, uh, you know, the first stress on you. The, you realize, okay, well, let's do it. Okay, well, let's make it good because we have to sell it. That's our jobs. I mean, you know, there's so much competition culinarily in the world. And so maybe we don't come at it from that angle. Um, but after you sit back and think about it, after you do it, you can take those things in because I guess it's true because you're here, um, uh, Susan from the Picayune, you know, interviews me about it. I go to Jazz Fest and do my cooking demo, which wasn't Yakamain. It was uh, a sandwich, a corned beef sandwich we do for lunch. So many people, as I'm setting up my station for the demo, people just come up to, oh, I read about that last Friday. Oh, my God, y'all are doing Yakamain? That is so weird. How do you do that? What's? I don't know if I've ever been, you know, asked, that many questions about one thing that we did, you know? It's so that makes you think it really it piqued everyone's interest. Um, my uh, Daniel Bono, my old French chef, years ago, years ago, told me that's what that's what chefs do. We take what's around us because um, the chefs back in the day used to cook for the rich the royalty, you know, before there were restaurants or anything, and they would take the food of, of the people, the peasants, you know, and make it into something else. Um, I don't want to say elevate it, but bring a new life to it, I guess, refine it, maybe. And he said that's one of the jobs of a chef. You take what's happening in your culture, in your world around you, which is New Orleans, and you create with that. You know, that's how you have these dishes in France that everybody knows the names of, you know, Coco Vin, you know, old tough rooster braised in red wine, you know, marinated for three days in red wine. Everybody knows it now. And there's a reason it's classic because they made it good and there's certain ways of doing it. And that was that came from the people in on the streets, the, the peasants in France, because they would have to cook for sustenance, you know, every day. They, so they would just grow food, raise, raise animals, and I don't know. That's, so that's a part of it. You take what's around you and you create with it.